Kai, we thought we'd take a look at what is Pulse Synergic Welding because Honda, Ford, Jaguar, all of the programs have a requirement now for Pulse Synergic Welding. So Pulse, what is Pulsed? When you look at a sine wave for electricity, we'll start at zero, go up, zero, down, negative. In 60 cycles, there's gonna be this pulse. Engineers were able to take that pulse and through a computer, create a square wave. So instead of being something of this nature, it went up, down, and so forth. There's some real advantages going to pulse. We can f move faster, we can use a larger wires, uh, but the biggest part here is we reduce the spatter. And so that's why a lot of these manufacturers are saying we want them pulsed because it is a more precise type of welding. So these are some of the new features that are on these new welders. Now, the newer machines now have what they call a hot start feature. And then at this hot start feature, they're going to throw more electricity or more amperage at the beginning of the weld. When the aluminum gets to the end of the weld, it shrinks. It also has a tendency to uh, form a crack. So what we do is we have what is known as crater fill, and what these machines will do is come back in and shut down, but keep the wire going into the weld for a split second after it to fill in the crater. So let's talk about that. Contacted Carliner, Electron, Veronius, GYS, Miller, ProSpot, Wielander Shell, and we asked, told them we'd like to bring in our, their machines. This is not a contest. It was just to see what they are, show the world what they are, take a look at them, and try them out. I brought in a gentleman who is a certified Mercedes welder. So uh, each of the manufacturers went over their setup, showed them the wire, how to uh, load the wire. So we gave all of the manufacturers two parameters. You bring in 5554 wire, 1.2 millimeter diameter, and that's all I told them. When they got there, I said, okay guys, you gotta be going down this thin material. We'll see if you can perform. I will tell you this, all of the seven manufacturers were able to perform. All of them succeeded in performing the weld and we test them as per ICAR standards. We uh, looked for penetration on the backside and then we did a destructive test. When we were all finished with it, um, I put together a spreadsheet. So uh, they have, um, has all of them, all of the manufacturers. This is their information that they gave, where they were made, um, what is their warranty, um, is there a setup fee? Are they three phase, single phase? Um, what is the warranty? What is the training? You buy these machines, are you going to get trained on them? Some of the machines are easier to set up than the other ones. Uh, some, they have different fields. Some of the guns are a little bit lighter than the other ones, and some are heavier. Um, but again, as I said, all of them performed the weld, and we, uh, it was pretty uh, interesting to see uh, that these guys all came together and they're, it was a friendly competition. And don't ask me which one I prefer because I'm not going to say. I like them all. They were all great, so non-committal. <laughs>